Ben Gritsky, your referees for this evening, James Griggle, Hugh Starkey and Nathan Duran as we prepare the tip. Tip is one and controlled by the Forestville Eagles and Adam Doyle will set us up. Excellent ball movement there and the other thing that you like about it is both teams, uh, as you see Daniel Johnson get a great pass there from Adam Doyle and finishes off. Daly downhill against the smaller Doyle. Finds the shot he likes but doesn't hit. Follows the shot and misses again but Forbes tracks the rebound. Forbes with the vision to find Dowdell and he stuffs it right over Mays. I don't think any of them you'd say is a bad shot. They all seem to be there. As you see the replay of Dowdell throwing it down with one hand. The thing with that transition from Wilson though is it means that you know Johnson and Mays don't have their usual matchups and as a result Johnson gets at the ring at will but can't finish it. Just misses this Johnson as Daly finds Dowdell who gets another one hand jam. You'd be quick if you're Jordy Wilson, but you'd have the size to be able to stop him. And at the moment, he's getting at the ring at will. Johnson finds a Pasu weak side. A Pasu sets and fires and hits. This is a Pasu, two for three from downtown. Bit of physicality coming into this play now as well. Yeah, it's certainly getting chippy out here as Johnson faces and fires. One legger, it's good. You can't give him that much room. But he's been playing big for Sturt. His energy is everything for the Sabres team. He contests every rebound, he goes hard for loose balls, he's talking as Rafton drives the baseline and finishes the tough bucket. And one! And the foul's called on Dowdell. You could definitely hear some slap action going on, not sure if it was ball or arm though. He's got to have a bit more composure as you see Forbes going for a huge three from the Jason Dix logo on that occasion. Bit of confusion there by the blue jerseys. Now, it was always a jump ball which had Forestville in possession of it. Johnson against Daly gets to the spot. The little hook shot. Daniel Johnson, great in the fourth part. quarter. Forestville with two timeouts left. Sturt with the only one. The ball is at Mays. Mays about one step inside the three point line looking to go to work. Apasu sets and fires and hits the three. Massive shot from Tristan Apasu and the lead is now five. Yeah, I think if he misses this and Sturt get another quick score like they did last time, you will see a timeout called from coach Andy Simons. If he makes it, it's an eight-point ball game. It's probably enough to see it out. Forbes goes quickly. Forbes hasn't shot the three, which is surprising. Steps back, gets to a three-point shot now, and nails it. And the pass Great is heads over up head play from Brad Wilson, Wilson, who will take the layup. Would have liked to have seen him just catch the ball quicker, so another second or two comes off it. But that's the ball game. What a game here in the NBL 1 preliminary final. And the Forestville Eagles get another shot at a grand final berth after losing just a year ago.